for the handbag pop-up you'll again need to print out the sheets and I suggest that uh, you first of all print out the choice of handbag cover that you want on one side of a piece of card and then turn it over and print out the darker layer of silk on the inside and uh, that way you've got it all in one position. We've also then got the elements for the pop out inside the handbag so we've got our sort of contents of the ladies handbag there and the V fold and a little strap in which to pull up the makeup box. And then I've printed out two further sheets of the paper, the light silk, and this is printed on very thin paper, as thin as you can get it really. Thinner the better, 80 GSM, 70 GSM will be fantastic. Okay, so what we need to do is first of all cut out these elements here so that we can apply those onto our handbag. Then I'm going to show you how that folds up and how we put it all together. It's actually quite a simple pop-up, um, but it looks very, very effective. I've got all my elements cut out, so the next part of this particular job while they're here is to just move those two to, the, to one side, and we've got the V-fold here. As you can see, there's two tabs, one either side, so just score down both edges there and there, and down on the middle line here as well. Okay, and when that's done comes the folding and we're going to fold it in half first of all like that, put a nice crease into it and then you've got the two tabs and in this instance we'll just fold those back to begin with one each side like so. And then we've got the smaller strap, which I've cut out. There's just two little lines there. So just, again, with your scoring tool, pop in a line, top and bottom. And those are going to fold downwards like that. There's two mountain folds on there. There we go, those are those elements done. Put that to one side, and we need to come back to the main handbag itself. Now, if you remember, I've printed this out on both sides, so what we've got to do is just sort of cut it out and trim it to size. But before I do that, I'm just going to put the, the score lines in. Now, you'll notice there's a very light one running halfway along. It's where the pattern emerges and then mirrors itself on the handbag here. So just a line through there, like so, nice and tight. I'm just going to turn this round, and there's a much more obvious one here. This is where the handbag comes over and just repeats the pattern on the side. So in effect, the card is going to work when we open it up. It's like opening up a, a handbag or a lady's purse. Now, when that's done, I'm going to simply cut around the edges here and just trim this all off so I know what it is that we're, we've got to work with. Go that side there, and last but not least, on here. You could fold it if you wanted to first. Sometimes I find when I fold the paper, I don't quite do it right, and it doesn't quite square up. But it, it's not too much of a problem if that happens. Okay, so that's done. Now what I need to do is just fold these lines. I've scored them quite heavily, so to be honest. They're folding quite a treat like that. Now that one should go in there, and that's just going to fold over there, like so. And I've created now this purse, and the pattern, more or less, if you notice there, um, depending on the accuracy of your fold, just, just carries on over as well. It, it, it's pretty good. And you can have a clasp of your own choosing on there if you want to. And but Or they, it could just sit like that, and ultimately it's going to open up, and we've got our inside there. So the next thing to do is actually add the elements to this. And for that, what I want to do first of all is add to the sides a concertina fold. Let me show you how we're going to make that. So I'm simply going to bring in one of my pieces of paper here, the lighter ones. Now again, if you want to, you can trim this down. And in fact, if you've trimmed the card itself to allow for the edge, uh, you should probably just do the same for this as well. It'll just make it look a little bit neater. So I'll go on now and trim this. Two, we need two sheets for this. And we're going to make a fan fold. So I'll go on now and do that for both sheets. And then come back and show you how we fold it. 
When it comes to making the fold, I suggest you just put it through the printer twice and then what you need to do is begin by folding this over. You could mark it out if you want to, but from the we're going to make it the longest width as it were. Measure in by about two centimeters. We don't want the fan to be too wide, but if it's too small, it looks funny as well. So you can you could measure a line and just fold to it. I've just done that by eye. It's about two centimeters. And then what we're going to do is just create this fan fold by just turning it over each time and putting a crease in it and just working back on our cells like that. And we need to make two of these. There we go. So I'll just go on there and fold this right the way to the end. And when you've done that, you end up with a concertina fold like this. So the next thing to do is to fold it into half. And that can be quite tricky because of the thickness of the paper. So just put that over and a little bit of pressure on the end there to put a crease in. It might not be perfect, but don't worry about that. It's not going to show. Then what we've got to do is just put a little line of tape along one of the edges here on the outer edge there and then push that over and that will join the two together so we create our fan like so and that will then open up for us within the handbag now what i suggest you do you can either put two sheets depending how much play you've got in there like that so i put two sheets of paper or just one two gives it a little bit more rigidity in there um, incidentally that's just sticking so that's not helping <laughs> so you can see now if I just fan that out I find two pieces of paper so again open that part and then stick one of the concertina folds down onto the other and then if you can see here in the middle section put a bit of stick a little bit of glue on there push it down and we end up with this now creating this lovely semicircle for us and that's got a little bit more strength to it as we're going to stick that onto the inside of the handbag so you need to go ahead and make two of those this is the inside section of the handbag and if you imagine the card opening up that's the outer edge and we open up and look in we need to now attach the two fans to the inner part here because you've glued the base it's got a little bit more rigidity to stick down so a, a length of tape along each side is really enough just to hold that in position but not on the flap there and then get one of your fans that you've made i would suggest you you fold it and a bit like all the other folds we've done just pop that in there as the, as the crease because this it, the thickness of the paper is going to make folding this a little bit difficult and just pop that over like so this card is never going to close perfectly because if i show you now we get that very thick base we that's why i suggest you use as thin a paper as possible but to be honest that doesn't matter it's just going to add to the effect of our card and then oh, i've closed it when i shouldn't have but look as we open it up we get this lovely inner part there so i'm going to do the same now on the other side here and just put that one in rest it there i pulled it back slightly just to allow for the the amount of play that we've got on there push that over let it find its way and there we go so as i open and close it now i've got this lovely concertina fold as we can see there and that's working beautifully so we're ready now for the pop-up section now when it comes to putting the v-fold in that's going to lift the objects what we need to do is just we want it to be raised quite vertically so i've glued the tabs and i'm lining up the middle here with the card and then just putting those tabs in and you can see that we get this lovely perpendicular lift i've just lifted some of it there so ignore that patch what we want to do then is when you have it in position glue it down fold it in half a little bit of glue on that side and then just close it over you can see now as we open and close the card that 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 rises quite steeply and the reason for that is that when you open it we want to see the objects here coming up like so so as you open the card you're going to get to see those looking towards you so the next thing to do is put a little bit of glue on the back of the telephone here we're going to rest that against our V fold here so that it sticks up vertically 
like so. So now as we open and close the handbag we get the objects popping up to greet us and the next thing to do is to add a little tab from the telephone here if you remember that we made that earlier that's going to pull up the compact so I would just pull that to one side there like so and then we need to fit the compact here so you're going to have to glue the base of it and then we're going to have that end being pulled up right the next thing we need to do is put a little crease line into the compact here and you'll see that there's a sort of a, a natural halfway line near where the lid is so just go from the really from the corner to corner there put a score line in and then fold that because what we're going to do is have that sticking down and just kind of an opening with the card as well just another little extra that we can put in there so a little bit of glue on the base there and it's just getting the position right now so we know that's got to be at 90 degrees to get it to work so I'm just going to rest it there see with the lid up in that position and then as everything closes that should close down and then the lid pull up as well as it opens so the next thing to do is just to rest that down and close it so that it's all in position and then as we open up the lid of the compact opens as well like so so it's just lining that tab up as we can see and that doesn't show too too much at all but it's just another nice element I think it just makes that whole handbag look fantastic as we can see now we can close the lid on it and there we go the lid I'll close the top of it there um, and so that that's a card and you can open it up and it looks fantastic doesn't it and then write a greetings message in here and I think that makes a fantastic card to give to well to any to any lady to any girl and you could even customize this a little bit further put an mp3 player or something a bit more teenagery in there if you wanted to as well and remember you can change the cover of the handbag if you want there's another one on the cd-rom um, but the measurements are there if you want to just print off and make your own different covers you can customize these to the nth degree and even come up with your own linings as well it really is a very versatile card but i think quite a stunning one it does work i think particularly well and i hope you enjoy making it